You can buy an Audi, a BMW or even a Mercedes-Benz for about $40,000 these days, but none will be as generously proportioned as this car. This is the Holden Calais, an executive version of the humble Commodore that you can also have for about 40 grand. But does it stack up as a luxury car? No better place to start than the cabin. Okay, so there's no shortage of hard, scratchy plastics in some places, but the suede trim and the well-presented controls do help to lift the overall perception of quality. The 8-inch color touchscreen has the same effect. There's beautiful high-res graphics that bring a bit of a smartness. It's very easy to use system, very intuitive, and there are also built-in apps like Pandora to give you internet radio access. And as you would expect from a Commodore, there's abundant room throughout the cabin, including a truly spacious rear seat. While the Calais has a good range of standard features, you can go the extra luxury mile with the V-Spec. That costs another $7,000. The Calais V brings a host of extras, which includes a cool head-up display, navigation with live traffic updates, seats that can warm your posterior, and systems that will warn you if you're drifting out of your lane or in danger of hitting the car in front. And there's also a sizeable boot. However, a big question for your average Calais buyer, can it fit a set of golf clubs? It would actually fit a couple. But back to the driver, that really counts. Commodores come with a couple of different suspension tunes, depending on which model you get. Now with the Calais, you get the Comfort Focus Touring. And while it's not quite the full magic carpet ride, it does have an uncanny ability to soak up the worst bumps that the city can throw at it. And the Calais, it's still got fantastic steering that's really smooth and precise and better than you'll find in many a German luxury car. Of course, if you're an executive climbing the corporate ladder, power can be all important. So some buyers of the Calais may want to go for the V8 option, but that's another 13 grand or so. And the base V6, well, it's a pretty damn good engine. It's got lots of lovely low down torque, which makes it effortless for driving around the city and cruising on the freeway. Perhaps not the best sounding six cylinder engine, but it does pair extremely well with the six speed auto. Vision is generally good. A couple of negatives though, those A pillars generally for the Commodore can be a bit of a blind spot when you're turning into corners. And the side mirrors, well, they are ridiculously small. So it's a good job that standard on the Calais is blind spot assist. A luxury car has to be about more than just extra lashings of wood, leather and large amounts of cabin space. A refined driving experience is also critical and here the Calais scores strongly. Yes, a Commodore is never going to have the cachet of a 5 Series or an E-Class, but there's an inherent quality to the engineering of this car. It's automotive luxury you can afford.